Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Really exciting one today. I'm on the way to Copart to pick up what is one of my dream cars. I've, I've I had one of these probably when I was, oh I don't know, about 21, 20. I bought a, I bought one and I just had, I, I could never keep it and I always wanted to keep it and I had to sell it. And I'm going to Copart to pick one up. It's a Vauxhall VX, oh, a Vauxhall VX220 which is um, like a, basically a collaboration with Vauxhall and Lotus in the early 2000s. I think they're definitely a future classic and apparently they're incredible to drive. The one I had was great, but I just, I never got it running properly and I just, I, I needed the money from it. I had to sell it, it was, I'm absolutely gutted about it. But this one, it's only got 20,000 miles in it, but it's absolute wreck. Like, it's absolutely destroyed. But basically the whole front end has been ripped off the car. I, it looks like it hit something straight dead down the middle by the, the damage to the, the crash box. Um, the rest of the car looks okay. There is no picture of the engine, so I'm a little bit worried that there's no engine in it. I hope there is. No, there'll, there'll be an engine in it. There'll be an engine in it, I'm sure. Um, it's the turbo one as well, which is the more, the quicker one, the better one. Um, I don't know if it's quicker actually, but it's the more desirable one. Um, all right, so I'm on the way to pick the car up now. Wish me luck when I get there. I hope that it's not as bad as, I hope, really hope it's not as bad as um, it could be. Anyway, I'll see you at Copart. We're back, it's the next day, and here's the car. It's a bit worse than I originally thought it was gonna be, but that's Copart, you know? So there's a crack here. This is fully repairable. Every, the shunt must have been so hard forwards that almost every panel has like jolted and is sort of cracked in little places. This whole area all looks fine. There's a little crack in the bottom of the door here. There's obviously no front end, but actually all of the bits that where the front end attached seem to survive. It feels like someone maybe just ripped it off or, or the insurers might maybe just ripped it off. The wheels look fairly straight. We'll have a look at all that when we get it, get it off. And this is the major area really. This crash box, I mean that's, non-existent anymore. I think this is just an under tray. What's left of an under tray. Yeah, I think that's okay. That comes off, I hope. Um, looks like some of the wires were just ripped out. We'll have to figure all that out. No radiator, that goes in there. Clearly no front end. Um, so the front end is very expensive for this car. I'm trying to get hold of one. I've found a couple places that might have one. They're all damaged, they all need repaired. But I might be able to get hold of one. And unfortunately it's not just the front end that we need. We're gonna need the headlights and apparently the headlights are so hard to get hold of. You can get hold of them. If you look at on eBay there are people selling them but they want like 1200 quid each for them. So we'll see what we can do there. Just before I get started on this, I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone watching. I mean, this is literally one of my dream cars. I've wanted one of these for absolutely ever and I'm so happy I can share this with you guys because I'm so excited to get started working on this. I really am. Let's get to it. All right, so around this side, same story. 
there's a little bit of a nick there probably where something where this probably bent down and hit it this has all just been ripped off that's that's about the biggest part of the front end i've got left actually per se one of those <laughs> um door this door's fine no cracks on this door there is a crack here well, i think that must have just been a just the sheer force of everything moving forwards must have cracked that um, this side's all good, there's no cracks here, this bit's pulled out a little bit, but that's pretty standard. There's some scrapes there, I think they were there obviously before the crash. Interior. Interior looks good. The interiors on these cars are pretty basic anyway, there's nothing really to them. I've only, well, I only owned one and it had red, red leather seats as well. I don't know if they come in any other colours. The boot, where is the boot thing? Um, ah be there and also these panels here on these cars and these you see there's a crack there they crack all the time because the passenger side is absolutely fine but these ones because the driver's always getting in and out of them they always crack yeah let's check the engine bay I, I did when the car turned up I did actually look through these vent and make sure there was an engine in there because it, I would not have taken the car if there wasn't an engine there. I don't actually think I would have any legs to stand on because it's co-parts, so they probably would have made me take it anyway. But I haven't actually opened this to have a look. Maybe the headlights and everything are sitting in this boot bit. No. But there's the engine, the two litre turbo engine. It's the right engine, thank God. It looks pretty good. Apparently it's only got 20,000 miles on it, but it could be true. Nothing in there, is there? Nothing in the boot, unfortunately. I can see. Let me get the strut up, hang on. All right. Let's see if there's anything in here. Foam. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. No. If there was anything, Copart would have taken it, that's for sure. At least the engine's in there. I do want to see if it runs. The biggest problem I have right now is I need to get this off this trailer. And ideally, I'd love to drive it off. But there's one thing here that's going to completely stop me from doing that. So when this guy crashed, I think he pushed the pedals as hard as he could to stop. I don't know if you can see that clutch pedal up there, but it's bent back, so I don't know what to do about that really. I think maybe I'll have to get someone to help me push it. I really hope it rolls. A few moments later. I think we might actually have a clutch here. Let me just try pushing that. That actually feels alright. I still think we should replace that um, that pedal because if it's bent that far it's probably weakened up the top and if you last thing you want is for that to snap on you. I can't turn it over by hand so I'm gonna have to turn it over with the key. I really hope the engine didn't lock up when it crashed. All right, I'm going to send power to the car. Got those bars in. All right. Right, I'm going to try again. I am. Um, Put the car in gear, fifth gear, and rolled it backwards and forwards. It doesn't look like the engine sees, it seems to be rolling quite freely. If it's not the engine, then it's going to be a power issue. The hazard lights are on when you put power to the car, even though the hazard lights themselves aren't on. I'm thinking maybe it think it's got like a crash sensor in it somewhere that thinks that it's, well, doesn't think, knows it's been crashed, and is preventing the engine from starting, maybe. I'm going to try it again now, see what happens. Uh, 
turned over. All right, so we've got the car in the workshop. You may notice a couple new bits floating on top. There are also some more new bits in the corner. That'll all be in the next video. We've got almost every part I think I need to fix this car, almost. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a couple bits I'm missing, but I'll show you how I got them in the, ne in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm so looking forward to getting this back on the road. I've, I've always wanted to do like some track days and things like that. and. I just can't wait to be able to use this. And if you're wondering where the car's gone that was in here, I, I just, I needed to make the room. I've only got this little shed here, so I just, I really needed to make the room um, for this car to go in. And unfortunately, I, this one took priority and I just had to get rid of the Spitfire. I basically just gave it away, to be honest. The Honda, I'm using every day at the moment and it's been all right. It, it needs new tires badly. I've got some down here. I bought the other day, um, just part worns, but they seem all right. They, they've got a lot of life left in them and they're only a year old. So they're gonna go on it. Um, but yeah, it's running great. Uh, needs a full service, but thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of stuff, please subscribe. 